My name is Lucio. I was born in Brazil. I'm a Brazilian, and um, I've always been like a, a a guy who had some relation with uh, farming. All my parents have been farming for ages. My name is Ruemisa Mashumba. I farm in Marundula, Zimbabwe. I have a plantation of 100 hectares of eucalyptus trees. I um, I. I grow um, horticulture crops. Well, last season, for the past two years, I've exported to Europe. Um, I grow indigenous organic grains, and I'm very passionate about just um, organic farming. So my name is Jane Smith, and um, I live. I'm a farmer, and I live in New Zealand. So in the South Island of New Zealand, right in the central of New Zealand, really. So between Christchurch and Dunedin and Queenstown, um, we are sheep and beef farmers. So I'm a fourth generation sheep and beef farmer. I've 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 been uh, I've seen like many times farms up north where they don't have enough infrastructure to transport their grains from the farm to the the ports. Millions of tons of grains being lost, like in, because of rain, because they don't have any place to store it. Okay, so for we don't have um, food waste as in throwing away. People must be eat up eat up all their food in the fridge and stuff. But the waste we have is more to do with that. We we lack storage facilities. We lack um, ish post harvest um, equipment. So most people like in the rural communities will grow, like even when my grandmother was still alive, they'll grow their vegetables in the garden and then they maybe they can't afford transport, costs are too high, and they just decide to sell on the road and you know they, there's the heat, it's so hot and then the food just goes bad. We tend to be um I guess pretty thrifty by nature and tend to utilise, um, because everyone's so connected to the land still, um, generally, um, we do, we, we, even urban people still know to how to cook meat and um, how to make sure that there's no wastage and, and if they have you know, a large piece of meat or vegetables, they, they, they know how to utilise it to their best of ability. I think it's really good that it's highlighted. Um, and interesting enough, it hasn't probably been something that farmers have been involved in in edu helping educate um, consumers about, and I think we probably need to be, um, especially as consumers get more and more, um, or sorry, less and less close to how things are produced.